Hey, I'm Will Bartlett, and in today's After Effects tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks, I'm going to show you how to create a double exposure effect inside After Effects CC. The effect is done by blending footage together in various ways so that each clip interacts with the other to create the double exposure look. There's several ways to create this type of look, and it works best if your main footage was either filmed on a green screen or with a background that stands out from the foreground. For the double exposure we will create in this tutorial, I downloaded several clips from Storyblocks.com. For the main clip, I chose this, which is a profile of someone listening to music with headphones on a bright background. The other clip I'm using is this forest clip, which is darker toward the bottom and brighter toward the top where the fog is. This clip works well for the footage we'll use to blend with our main clip because it's a simple clip of just trees with two main tones, white and black. If we were to use a clip that's very colorful or that had a lot of elements moving, it may result in the final effect being too busy, but keep in mind that either way it's still very subjective, so choose whichever clips you think work well together when you're creating the double exposure effect. I also downloaded a few other clips from storyblocks.com so we can try those and see which one works the best for our double exposure effect. Alright, so I have After Effects open and the footage has been imported. Here's our clips. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. We'll go to Composition, New Composition. And since we're working with 1920 by 1080 footage, I'll make sure the composition matches our footage, so 1920 by 1080, and the duration will be 15 seconds, and then we'll name it main, hit OK, and then we will drag our headphone footage into our composition, make some adjustments to resize it so we can see a little better, and then we'll bring down the forest clip into our composition. Now, in order to create a very quick double exposure effect, we could simply just choose the track mat that works best with this. So in this case, Luma or Luma Inverted will give you a cool result. However, for the look we're going for, I don't want the trees to be in the background. I only want them to be on our person with the headphones on. So in order to do that, let's set it back to no track mat. We'll turn back on our top layer. And then we need to figure out a way to either remove the background or the foreground from the footage in order to blend the forest layer a lot better. So like I said earlier, if the background was a green screen, I could literally just key out the green using a simple effect like key light. However, since our footage is not green screen, let's remove the key light effect and instead we'll type in Luma. We'll add the Luma key to our footage. We can either key out the brighter parts, which as you can see, will keep our person in there, or we can key out the darker spots. And the result is the majority of the person is being cut out from the image so that you can see the layer below it. If I turn this off, you'll see that it just turns pure black because there is no footage below it. So let's turn it back on and then select the top layer again. We'll change it to brighter. And then in the same way, if we turn it off, you'll see that the background goes black. So let's go ahead and set it back to darker. And then we'll set the edge feather a little higher. In the final result that I showed you at the beginning of the video, there was more definition in the person's face and in the sweater. So in order to do that, if you duplicate the layer by going to Edit, Duplicate, and then on the layer, let's remove the Luma key effect. And then on that duplicated layer, we'll change the blending mode. So we can either set it to Multiply, Color Burn, or really any one that you like. We can try even Overlay, but I like Soft Light because I find it's not as harsh as some of the other ones. All right, so that's looking really great right now. If you wanted to make this a little more subtle, you can go into the opacity and then around 60%. We have a really cool effect. However, you'll notice that the footage is kind of staying still. And if you like that, great. But if you don't, there's a cool technique you can use, which is keyframing the background footage. Since we're only revealing this bottom layer with what's inside the person, we can adjust the frame up to about there and up to about there. So if we go to the beginning, I'll show you what I mean here. Let's go down into the transform properties and then let's move the position and you'll see the edge of the frame. So let's move that all the way to about there. We'll make a keyframe and then we'll go to the end of our footage and then we'll move it over to the left. And doing it this way is really cool because as the footage plays, the trees are moving to the left. It gives it a really cool dynamic feel. At this stage, the effect is done, but if you did want to continue and add some extra layers into the background, then you could go into your middle layer, instead key out the brighter, 
bring down your background layer, and then with the layer with all the trees, change the track mat to alpha mat. This will give you a similar effect as what we had before, however now you can work with other footage in your composition to show the background. And lastly, let's reset it back to no track mat, we'll delete the cloudy layer, we'll change our effect back to darker, and then turn back on our layer, and then I'll show you what the other clips look like as a double exposure. So let's grab our subway clip, we'll bring that down just above our forest clip, and you'll see that it's flashing, it's very busy, and in my opinion there's too much going on here. We'll try the next clip of the mountains. Now I don't mind this clip, I think it looks okay, but I still prefer the forest. And then next we'll try the sunrise clip, but I still prefer the tree one. Okay, that brings us to the end of this After Effects video tutorial on how to create a double exposure effect brought to you by Storyblocks. My name is Will Bartlett and we'll see you next time.